Hi everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am in the process of making a luxury soap. I am doing a, I've already got my lye solution in here, my cream, all of my additives. Didn't film that tonight. Um, I'm going to do a vanilla tonight, a fresh vanilla. It kind of reminds me a little bit of vanilla buttercream. I really like it. It's very pretty. Do a little bit of gold and just a smidgen of white that isn't fragranced. Oops, can you grab me the water there? I need to add a little bit of water to my titanium dioxide here. Yeah. I mixed it a little while ago and it's, it's set up. So I'm going to add my fragrance to the main batch here. I just need you to pour it in there for me. How much? I don't know, just some. God's plenty. Thank you. I'm not going to stick blend this. I don't know what this fragrance is going to do, if it's going to accelerate or not. I've had acceleration issues like crazy lately. So I'm hoping, on well, my last two batches that I did, I literally had to spoon in and almost had to use a knife to scrape it out of the bowl. Which, you know, is not a huge deal except for the air pockets. And sometimes the air pockets just get ridiculous. I'm just trying to mix up my titanium dioxide here. Maybe my little whisk doesn't want to spin. There it goes. Okay. So I'm not going to put color in with the vanilla because it's just going to turn brown. have just, I mean, a minute amount, and then gold. Which kind of looks a little yellow, but it's still pretty sparkly, so as long as it maintains it, keeps it sparkle, I will be happy. I think with this I'm just going to do a drop swirl. And the vanilla. And whoops, I don't know how to find this is going to be later. You may not be able to tell the difference between the gold and the vanilla at all, and that's that's okay. But the vanilla should turn a lovely dark, dark brown. I thought about doing blue. And I thought, no, I just want to keep the vanilla, I don't know, regal? Is that the word I'm looking for? I, I don't know. Simple, elegant. Mm, I was 
going to drop the white down the middle, but do I want to? What do you think? Should I just do the white on top, or do you think I should drop it in? I think I'll go down the middle. Alrighty. Well, it may not go down the middle. It's That's uh, setting kind of quick, isn't it? The white is really thick, yeah. So, we just force it in. This is the sixth soap I've made in three days, and it feels nice to be able to get back to some soaping. My curing racks are bare, <clears throat> and I need those, I need soaps curing to make sure that I don't run out. So, I've got a pretty steep water discount, which is why my soaps have been setting up like crazy lately. That and because the fragrances have been fast movers, so that hasn't helped. This one has been okay though. This is a really pretty gold. And this smells really good. I think it's really hard to find a good smelling vanilla. But I really like this one so far. It's not too sweet, but it doesn't have that fake chemical smell that can sometimes come with vanilla. I think it's a pretty true vanilla. Scrape out every drop. Looking at my splatters. This is going to need a few minutes before I can texture, so I'm going to pause and I'll be back. Okay, I think it's set up enough that it at least it will hold a swirl. I don't need this one to be peaked or anything. I really don't like peaks, and the last couple of soaps that I've done are pretty peaked because they were so thick I couldn't smooth them out. But it actually worked with the designs that I had. One of them was a water soap. And the other one was a, um, a mimosa type soap. So it worked, I think. Even though this mica is pretty sparkly, I'm going to go ahead and add just a very light dusting of super fine glitter. And there you go. Don't go anywhere. I will have the cutting on the back half of this video. Okay, here's vanilla out of the mold. Um, this is going to continue. This is darkened a little bit. It's going to continue to darken even more. I can see some spots that are already browning. But it's going to turn a 
dark, dark brown. It's pretty hard. I didn't cut it as soon as I should have. Busy, busy day today. So there's the inside on the sample pieces. Uh, we have decided to rearrange five rooms in our house. So I've been moving furniture today and shampooing carpets and um, canning. I can as well. I just did um, a whole bunch of beans. I like the white in there. I'll be really curious to see how this gold stands out against the brown. Oh good, I was able to, I was trying to force it down. It smells really good. I think this is my favorite vanilla scent that I have ever used. I am really, really picky with my vanillas. I think I mentioned last night when I made the soap, to me, so many vanillas smell chemically, and this one does not. It smelled really uh, a little sweet, like a vanilla buttercream, but it's actually lost that sweet edge, and it just smells like a vanilla bean. I really like this. So I might wait a little bit to post this video. I might wait until it darkens and add those pictures to the end. But this soap will be cured July 25th and available at StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching.